Hi, Dennis Weiss, Eagle Communication, here with Mark Miller at the fabulous finished product of the new hospital. Very cool. Thank you, thanks, sir. Last time we were in this entrance area where we are today, very little of what we see here was here. It was just going to be here. Absolutely. We could look out that way and see the street and the trees, but we couldn't look this way and see what we see now. Absolutely not. A lot of work has been done since the last time. Now, before. you know, I think, I, I think that folks will have to come walk and see what you and I are seeing because that's two-dimensional and this is very 3D. But I took a quick tour through and once you come in the entrance area, you turn right and go over to the reception area. What a, the difference starts there, really. It does. Privacy. Nice counters separated where you can stand. Absolutely. Very, very one, nice. of, one of the key things about the whole new facility was protecting people's privacy. I mean, the old facility was not really built for that. Um, I'm not sure why. I mean, privacy should have always been important, right? Well, but, there's always uh, compromises with space. True and enough. And how enough. you build things. And I guess, you know, times being what they were. But here we are. And, you know, this community invested a lot of time to think this hospital thing through. Absolutely. There were votes in front of the people about how to fund it. Boy, I just think, Mark, as you look around, what a, a job well done to, I remember your nursing staff sat down and said, this is what we need to work with. Your architects we had on camera one day walking around out there right. in the sunshine right. told us about how this thing was put together, but what a pleasure it is to just sit here and look and see the contributions from people on the wall, from institutions on the wall. Absolutely. And I, very cool. It is. We, we obviously had a lot of input. It, it took a community. I, I hate, to, hate to steal those kind of phrases, but it, oh, it took a community. Should and, be proud uh, of that. Okay. Well, and, and it's been a challenge. I mean, the, it was a very, um, you'd think with all of the input and all of the, the time that was put into planning of it, um, which I think has paid off tremendously. I think we've ended up with an awesome in, in product. I really do. Um, you know, there were challenges moving in. And, uh, and uh, well, the I, word the staff, moving's in there. Moving well, it is. That, that's equals absolutely challenge. right. That's absolutely right. You and, can't move from one but, tent to the other. And, and I can't challenge. tell you we didn't miss anything, you know, in our in our planning. But it, when it's all said and done, it was a very very smooth move, um, and uh, the staff rose to the challenge and uh, got us in here, and uh, we're you know day, and day gonna, one. And you're going to take us night, from you're one minute take us to on a tour, night. right? Absolutely. And we're headed to the lab. Love to show you. Okay, we're headed to the lab. See you there. Let's go. Well, Mark, we made it to the lab, and yeah. my goodness, what a nice, spacious, modern, with windows behind us, lab. It is, and the windows are a very positive thing. You know, oh. you like to look out and see in this wonderful rain that we've been getting here for the past three, four days, so. I think yes. Janice said, we have windows. That, that is how that went, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Pretty close, pretty yeah. close. So much more spacious lab than what we had before. Um, certainly designed to fit all of the equipment that we now have versus what we had 20 years ago. Well, what's the new thing in the 30 back? years ago? We have a new chemistry analyzer, okay. um, state of the art, okay. uh, latest, greatest. Um, and again, picking up on that privacy and, and HIPAA issue that we talked about, um, we, our drawing room is much more suitable for maintaining patients' privacy and okay. so on. So um, it's been, uh, it's been uh, a good move for the lab. You know, if you just talking about healthcare today, mm -hmm. diagnostics are the difference on the front end of healthcare compared to a long time ago. And you can't have good diagnostics if you don't have good on-site labs. Absolutely. Um, really, much of medicine is moved into the outpatient arena. But lab, radiology, which we'll mm -hmm. see in a few minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, this, that's where a lot, we, we see fewer and fewer inpatients and shorter and shorter stays. Right. And so it's really about identifying, getting ahead of the diseases, getting ahead of treatments and making sure people stay healthy. And when they do um, you know, acquire an illness, that we're able to fi find that really quickly, identify exactly what it is, and treat it as quickly as we can. Even though all your help ran away when we came in with a the camera, they, did, they all looked they? happy. They did. They, they, they looked like they love their new home. <laughs> I think they do. Well, I think the things we can assure the folks uh, who are watching us today is this is a nice lab, very up to date, very modern, has a lot of room, ability to do things and work in a cool environment. Absolutely, very well equipped. And automation, of course, is always part of what we're doing these days. More and more computers, more and more automation lab results being fed directly into a computer and, and, and sent to a physician that ordered that, that test uh, through, through the computers. It's, 
it's an interesting. So we go job well done in the lab. Absolutely, we're job good. Job well done in the good. lab. Well, Mark, we're in in an area here in radiology that I think is one of the, the most impressive of the new hospital design and what you did with it. The ability to roll people from ER, from your OR, from your birthing center in through these diagnostic areas of radiology so quickly and easily. This is, this is a great upgrade to healthcare. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before, but the, the, really the layout is a huge, huge part of what we've improved. Um, and the, the door, um, there's two doors to our two trauma rooms that go straight, straight into the CT room here, which is, to, you know, if you're in a car accident, coming into our trauma room, often you need a CT. We're not taking you out through the hallway. Up um, you're the coming, elevator. Up the elevator. You're coming straight from the trauma room right into the CT room. And of course, the CT is a huge upgrade in and of itself. Again, I think we've talked about this. Um, we had a six slice with it, you know, mm -hmm. just to put numbers to it. But mm -hmm. and we now have a 64 slice right. CT. So much better pictures. Much better pictures. Uh, much more detail. Mm -hmm. Much quicker. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, the, the amount of time that it takes to take a picture, the amount of radiation exposure, so it's better for the patient that you, you get exposed to because it's a, a 64 slice, much less. So all around, a very, very positive thing. The, the much quicker is not just to the benefit of the doctors. When you're lying in one of those very uncomfortably because of something is not quite where it used to be, uh -huh. that uh -huh. much quicker is much better. Absolutely, sure. Yeah. And of course we have the MRI, can't, yeah. it's off camera, but yeah, uh, you know. We can't go in there and take a picture, I'm no, so disappointed because, because it sucked my belt buckle off or something. Yeah, like or, or the camera into the, oh, into the, into the magnet. The yes. giant you vortex. Can, you can't shut it off, so Star right. Wars. we can't take a look at that. But the, you know, yeah. one point, what they call a 1.5, again numbers, 1.5 Tesla magnet, um, which yeah. is kind of the, is, is the standard. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we used to have that here twice a week. Now we have it here 24 and 7. You know, the folks who, who saw one of our walkthroughs when it was really a walkthrough anywhere you wanted to walk, uh -huh. that room over where the MRI is, copper line walls to, yes. for shielding, where yes. lead used to be right. the standard now, right. copper line walls. But that is a big room with a great big machine in it and a tremendous amount of infrastructure to make it all work. And that's in Abilene, Kansas. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I will tell you though that you're still in a lead room. That's good. Because the MRI is a different uh, technology, so it gets copper. But the old-fashioned X-ray and not so old-fashioned like CT lead. still gets lead. Lead's one okay. of my favorites. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. So double thumbs up on radiology. I'm good with double. Okay. All right. You'll have to come see it, folks. But see it here, not here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Mark. Now we're in the serious part of the business. This is oh, the yeah. ER trauma rooms, correctly correct. said? That's correct. Trauma means bad things have happened to somebody. Unfortunately, yes. But here's a good side of the story. We just left radiology right through right that door. Absolutely. The CT scan machines right there, the MRI machines, another 10 steps. Look at the size of this room. Right. Look at the overhead light, lots of clearance for all of this stuff. There's plenty of ceiling to run in the big carts and use whatever additional materials they need. And it's right next to everything. Absolutely. And probably, I'm not sure what the camera's showing right now, but there's as much space on the other side of this cot, this, this stretcher, as there is on the side that we're seeing right now. Yeah, well, and, and terrific. We, had, we actually had a large trauma room in the old ER, um, but there were two beds in it. So right. there's absolutely yep. no privacy. You and your friend. You yep. and your friend. You and, your friend. And, and hopefully there's never a need mm -hmm. to have you and mm -hmm. your friend in the trauma room at the same time. Mm -hmm. But we have two separate trauma rooms now. And, uh, I mean, you know, you talked about all the all the involvement we had from staff and everything. And, and, and if I can, can yeah. I? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. The, just an example of something that uh, that the staff uh, was adamant about that, that, that would be a, a very positive thing, both from a staff perspective as well as a patient perspective, is we put a stool. Um, in every trauma room. So, you know, obviously somebody's in this room, they are not Keep in talking. good shape. Okay? I'll be the and so I'll be there you go. Away. All right. So, Look we we actually put a stool in um, and with a cover on it and uh, a curtain to provide that patient privacy. And of course, a curtain doesn't sound like a lot of privacy, but if you're in the trauma room, that's probably not your first concern. I don't think um, Vanna White ever did a you, commode. You, you pro <laughs> I don't think she did. No. But I think that's probably a better thing than walking, you know, 20 feet to a to another bathroom. Someplace. Technology right there. 
We have the computers console on the to wall. all of your data systems Absolutely. is right there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, computers, as I mentioned, are becoming more and more mm -hmm. a part of healthcare. So. And you have two of these trauma rooms. We do. Absolutely. And we have an yep. additional in the ER, uh, a, a great new nurses station. Um, we have six um, treatment rooms. One of them is designed uh, specifically for OB with a special light in it. Um, we also have two rooms that are specifically designed for infusion therapy. So they have a t mm -hmm. TV in them and just a little more. Uh, in fact, our, our exam rooms have TVs in, the, uh, in them also. But the, uh, the, the uh, infusion rooms have a, a, a stretcher option and, uh, and a, uh, a, a recliner type, type option. So very, very patient oriented. You know, I remember when we were filming, uh, again, when it was bare bones and we were looking up. You remember that filming? And we I said, do. look at all the stuff that's in the ceiling of a modern hospital. And it's still up it's there. It's all coming out of the walls, right? Oh, well, it is coming out look of the walls. Look at all the data ports. Look at all the stuff coming out of the walls. And yet this room is unobstructed by the technology that's available in it. Absolutely. Very well done. Good job, Trauma Room. Well, my mother always wanted me to be a doctor. This is as close as I've ever came standing up. This is pretty close to uh, being a real doctor. Did you stay in Holiday Inn Express? Last no, night? but I stayed on the uh, operating table and looked okay. up. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What a, you know, this is becoming repetitive. What a transformation from the old hospital to the new here in the official OR. And there's two of these. Correct. Th th this is, you're right. You're absolutely right. This is a huge transformation. Um, probably again one of the significant aspects of the need for a new hospital. Um, I think we've talked before, I certainly have mentioned it in community forums, I think mm -hmm. I've mentioned it here mm -hmm. on uh, Channel 2, but uh, the, uh, the ceilings in the low, low, old OR were very low and consequently so were our lights and we literally had our, our general surgeon literally bumped his, his, bumped his head on the lights. Kind and, of slid uh, you in, you know, it, under the line. Absolutely. And so we have very high ceilings, a lot more yeah. room. I mean, yeah. surgery has changed over the years so much, right. and there's so much more uh, equipment that comes into an operating room. And so here we are in this wonderfully large and spacious and well-equipped uh, OR. You know, I don't know if, um, if it's possible with our tour as Brian puts it together. Maybe you should get Ann to give him a floor plan for a map because this will help. Ann's listening there. We walked around to get here, but really all of the other critical stuff we were talking about on our tour, it's right over there. It's all in a kind of a star where every, you can work in and out of the diagnostic area, the OR area, the trauma rooms. Absolutely. It's just so creatively organized. Yeah, I, what, whether now's the right time or when we're looking at OB is the right time. Um, in the old hospital, if you were delivering a baby and we decided at the last minute that you needed to have a cesarean section, um, you got on an elevator, and you went downstairs yeah. and went into the OR. Um, not only are we on the same floor, but we are right next to right next uh, obstetrics and where you're delivering. And so it's now just a quick, quick, actually quick uh, uh, scoot across the hallway um, to the operating room. And so it's 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 a tremendous improvement. And right next to all the people, Mark. I remember from the very first time we sat down with you, I don't think we were even on camera when you told me this first, is you, when you talk to your staff about what should be different, it's okay, we need, we only have a certain amount of people who do certain things and we need to be close enough together to be able to help each other, to overlap the resources and to share technology and share information and all of this floor plan lends itself to that. It does. The uh, ER and OR, are the two, or excuse me, the ER and med surg or medical surgical or inpatient unit um, are the two places that are always staffed 24 and 7. Um, and they, in the past, were on two separate floors. And now they are located right next to each other. So if nurses are needed in one way or the other, whether it's in the ER they're needed or in med surg they're needed, they are right there together so they can uh, help each other out. Okay, all the folks are wondering, why did they put on those silly looking outfits just to be look like doctors on TV? No, that's not why we it did not. it. We did it so the kind people who work here won't have to scrub this room from there to there simply because we shot in it. That's a standard of care it is. in a modern hospital. It is.
Double thumbs up on the Double OR. Double thumbs up on the OR. OR is cool. Mark, we've touched a lot of areas in a new hospital today, but the patient room is something we did focus on when there was hardly anything here. And if this is either the identical room or the one right next to it where we did that filming with Teresa and we had all those good laughs about what it was going to look like. So here we are and it's here. And it looks a little different? No, it looks <laughs> exactly like we imagined it, you know. So that thing is a bed. It is. I mean, this is one of the features. It's just tremendous. You're going to you're going to show us how that folds out, but so when I walk in here, obviously everything we've been in is bigger. All the rooms are bigger. There's more room. Um, look at the space. Step step reach to the window. Absolutely. And the sink and every, there's just so much room to work so they can bring diagnostic things, bring care equipment in. Again, plenty of room, wide doors come in right. and take care of the people who are paying the bill will be lying there. But it's so often today with family environment, right? chair, 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 mm -hmm. bed. Okay, on the command, deploy the bed. You want me to deploy the Absolutely. bed? Okay, that, we're gonna start with that. All right, here we go. Whoop. All right, All right. Hey, so. A lot, a lot of hospitals do have a, uh, a, a chair or a recliner or something that people can sleep in. We actually hit, um, wow. went to, the, uh, to this extent, to where we actually have a fold-out bed. Um, that, wow. that, so if, you know, if your mom's in here or your spouse or child or something, you have a, mm -hmm. a, a relatively comfortable. That's it, not going to be not as comfortable as a you know, high-end uh, hotel, I suppose. It's better than a chair with arms. But it's better than a chair with arms. Mm -hmm. And so they have a bed to sleep on, and we have one, in the, obviously, and pillows right. and such that the, the family can use. And so this is probably a corner uh, stone, a, ma a main piece of, and very easy to take in and out, um, of, the, uh, of the new uh, family portion mm -hmm. of, the, of the new patient room. And then we have, of course, the patient area and the, their recliner and the nurse's area and the bed area and nice large TVs now. Uh, our integral blinds. Um, Those are cool. Right? Are cool. So we're Turn on the first floor now. I think we talked about this. We're mm -hmm. on the first floor. It's mm -hmm. a, a privacy thing. But yet this allows you a lot of flexibility in, uh, in allowing light in, but it's still mm -hmm. you know, giving the patient as much privacy as they, they feel they need. You so. Know, so much of health care is presumed to be technology, and it is. But so much of healthcare has always been the comfort and the, re and the status of mind of the patient and adding family, adding light, adding a nice environment in which to receive your technology portion of the healthcare right. is very big to healing as well. You know, um, this is a time, time, time past story, but uh, I was in the military and I worked in hospitals in the military and there were, I used to deal with stories of not wanting to see cobwebs in corners mm -hmm. and uh, paint peeling on the ceilings. Mm -hmm. You know, these very, very old mm -hmm. hospitals. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're a long ways from that, that very, type of a concern. A long ways, long ways. So. And all the technology, we're repeating ourselves, but people need to know. All that technology that was hanging when we did these raw rooms, mm -hmm. mounted to the walls, mounted flush with the walls. So all of the care that can be given in a patient room is embedded in the walls and ready to go. Absolutely. An, an added feature um, for, the, for our rooms are these rails that are here. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have the motors yet. I'm actually in the per process right now of purchasing those. Okay. But these are patient lift motors. So if the, really? if the, the patient is immobile and, and we need some additional assistance, if I again can reach above your head, this is a track that moves back and forth. And uh, wow. so we have four rooms that are equipped like that. So that's not only helpful to the patient, but to the staff who has to move patients. 100%. I yes. would think. 100%, yes. Okay. And so before this tour is over, you're going to go over and show us through Brian's camera that bathroom. But I am. double thumbs up on the huge family patient room. Absolutely. Double thumbs up. Huge. So this is the uh, tornado room. Uh, we actually have one of them on each end, and, and frankly, it was a quite an expense. But with the weather here in Kansas, it certainly was uh, an investment well well worth uh, the safety of our patients. This is our patient family room. 
Um, what's unique about this is that it's actually connected to a patient room right next to it. There's an interconnecting door. And so if we have a patient with a large uh, you know, family that's here, um, certainly if we have a hospice patient who's in you know, their final hours, um, we can actually close this room off to the general uh, inpatient population or patients that we have and allow that family the privacy and the space to, uh, to uh, be with their loved one um, in, their, in the patient room next to it. Mark, we're here at the ER entrance, which is a new separate entrance to the hospital, specifically into ER, and I'm going to give the people watching an orientation right through there is where the people sat and on the other side of that's where we were when we came by all the radiology and we then we walked the tour of the hospital yes. so it may seem kind of a long ways around but if they look at the top down of the hospital again ER is right next to everything absolutely and and it, it probably doesn't look like much looking down at us here in the hallway well but, certainly but half of it doesn't could I ask which? No. Okay. All right. But, uh, you know, we have a separate entrance now. So as opposed to coming in a front entrance or, you know, you, we have a specific entrance. We know when somebody comes in and yeah. wants to wants or needs yeah. the emergency room, we will know that. So there's a, the window right here. Um, this this is obviously located on the south side of the hospital. Mm -hmm. There's big signs that mm -hmm. says emergency walk-in. Um, you, you, you come into the uh, enclosed area here. Mm -hmm. Um, out of the weather and you, you, a nurse knows that you're here and take you back and they triage you right away and then you get to, you know. And all the other stuff we talked about everywhere else is this is built for privacy, built for security, and built for patient care in a way that could not be done in the old hospital. Exactly. Yeah, really cool. Love the new VR. Hope never to use it. I agree. Well, Mark, we're right back where we started this tour at the entrance of the hospital, the fountain behind us, and looking out that window, I can't honestly say whether I'm more impressed by this beautiful, modern, well laying out hospital or that beautiful rain that's coming down out there. It, it is hard to ignore the rain yeah. after the years that we've had of lack of. But. There's an analogy I'm in there somewhere. I'm going to vote for the hospital. Okay, you vote for the hospital, I'll vote for the rain. That way everybody's happy. You know why? Because without that rain, farmers would have had a real tough time in Kansas this year again. The economic prosperity of our community would be in tough shape. I'll make the case for you, without a modern hospital supplanting Abilene, Kansas, Abilene, Kansas wouldn't be in nearly the good position that it is today with it. You're right. One, one, one is one feeds the other. You're absolutely right. And, and, I, and I'll give you an amen for the rain. Okay, there we All go. Right. All right. Folks, we so appreciate the chance to show you the new hospital up on the hill. Take a chance and walk in yourself one day and just take a look around. Um, it's, it's very, very nice. And if you should you need care here, Mark and team will give you the best as, as is available in a modern technology. Mostly world. the team. The team, yes. Mostly, mostly the team. Well, all the team. <laughs> if you see him in a room with one of those masks on, you know, ask for a different doctor. Please. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here and showing hey. the new hospital to all, everyone. that might have to use it someday. You're welcome. And, uh, and always thanks to Ann and the marketing team for making this easy for us to do what we do, right? Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.